This video will describe the menu system available on the PicoScope and then a series of additional videos will be available for describing each menu in more detail. The sine wave being displayed is being generated from the internal arbitrary waveform generator and is a sine wave uh, with a frequency of 100 kilohertz and an amplitude of 900 millivolts. The signal that has then been applied to the uh, channel A input and the uh, range control has been set to auto so it automatically selects the best vertical range to give the best uh, vertical resolution and most accuracy for any measurement and here in fact we can see it's selected plus or minus one volt so we could then use the range control to manually set the range the menu system is divided into three toolbars so the third toolbar is for the channel setup so here we can see the channel options for uh, channel A and in fact the input is a, a, a default times one probe but if for example uh, we connected a times 10 probe to the input we could select a times 10 option and then this would automatically scale it to times 10 so the voltage values would read correct. The second item down is resolution enhancement. So the digitizer is an 8-bit digitizer which would give up to 256 vertical uh, levels. But we can, by oversampling, increase the number of bits. So for example, we could select 11 bits and we can see now we've got improved vertical resolution so we can make more accurate measurements. Similarly for each channel, we've got uh, uh, scaling so if we had a special probe we can change the scale factors and the offsets and uh, there's an analog offset and finally at the bottom there's a low pass filter so for example if I turn on the one kilohertz low pass filter we can see it has again removed any noise on the signal which again could improve the vertical measurement accuracy The third icon along is the coupling. So at the moment we've got DC coupling, so we can go to AC. If we've got uh, any DC content on the signal, that would remove that. And the third option is for high bandwidth signals to terminate into 50 ohms. So if I select that in this case, it will halve the amplitude of the signal because it's coming from a 50 ohm source. The next set of icons along are for the additional channel. So this is a four channel instrument, so we've got channels B, C and D available. So I'll turn on uh, channel B and give it a range control of plus or minus one volt. And here we see now channel B is being displayed with its scale factors on the right hand side. In fact we can see the signal, it's the same signal but it's been passed through a low pass filter so it's been attenuated. So I'm going to increase the range control 100 millivolts so now we can see it in more detail and in fact we can see the signal has uh, gone through the filter and been delayed in time so we can see a delay offset in time here. Moving to the main menu bar along the top this is a Windows pop-down uh, menu system so if we select fire for example it gives a very window type pop-down here we can open uh, either waveforms that have been saved or any uh, instrument setups and similarly we can save waveforms and save setups so for example if uh, two engineers use that particular instrument they could both have their own different um, setup um, available to be loaded and as a special option there's a power up uh, setting so again if an instrument is used in uh, one application it can power up in a uh, chosen set of settings. So you can uh, save the settings and then it will automatically power up into that uh, front panel setup. Uh, the third item is a, uh, a, a default reset. There is a printer available so we can do a print preview and then we can print the screen image to any uh, printer. The second icon along is the edit menu and here we can copy uh, screen images or text to any Windows application. So for example we could copy this uh, image to uh, paint and then it could be saved 
or we could copy the uh, voltage values as text to, for example, Excel, and again we could uh, save that data. The third menu along is the uh, Views menu, and here we can add and remove uh, views from the display. So the uh, current display is the uh, scope display, which is the standard uh, amplitude against time. A second option is the spectrum, where we can produce a FFT waveform, and that would display frequency against amplitude. And the third option is the XY, and I'll go ahead and select that, and we can see the effect it opens a second panel, and this is channel A versus channel B, uh, displayed as a, an XY display. If we want to remove any particular panel, we can select the panel, and then in the Views menu, we can select close and that will remove that particular uh, display panel or we can turn individual channels on and off so here we've got channels A and B being displayed so I could hide channel B or I could reinstate it moving down the menu system we could also uh, auto arrange the two views so select auto arrange again this opens two uh, panels and provides an offset so here's channel A with its scale factors and here we have channel B scale factors any channel uh, again can be turned off so from the uh, range control we can turn off for example channel B so now we just have the uh, channel A displayed and again under views menu I could reselect auto arrange and put it back to the original display finally at the bottom we have the view properties menu and this produces a pop-up on the right hand side and this is the current acquisition so the uh, sample interval is 200 picoseconds and this corresponds to a uh, clock of five giga samples and the uh, memory uh, across the waveform being displayed is 500,000 memory locations the second set is the uh, arbitrary waveform generator so here we can see the sine wave 100 kilohertz the 900 millivolts again with zero offset the third grouping is the ch channel a input so we can see it's in blue and this is highlighted in blue so we see channel a plus or minus one volt and dc this again can be minimized to keep the area available for the waveform display to be always maximized